welcome back to my channel. We are doing a completely different video today. We're in Maui. Maui, wowie, baby. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kyra and I, whoo, it's a little bumpy. We're just gonna roll with it. And I make videos on tips, tricks, and organization on living in small cities. While we're here in Maui, Hawaii, we decided to take the ultimate small space challenge. We're living in a car. We're car camping. We have a few days in Maui where we didn't have anywhere to stay. We found an SUV that has a double bed in the back and we're just gonna drive around the island and camp. And we are so freaking pumped. I'm gonna vlog our whole journey and let you guys know what it's like to car camp. Is this thing on? Aloha, we're tourists. Say hi. We don't live here on the island. We're visiting. I'm stuck in a car with him for two days. Oh look at here's the natives doing a ritual. Aloha natives. The natives he speaks of. The vagina. Oh my god. That whale. That's a whale vagine. Why? That's so unnecessary. We are on the road. It is 545 and we are now driving to go find our nighttime dwelling. We're just gonna drive uh, on this road until we see something that seems fitting. We're kind of in the wilderness at this point and the wilderness is just lava rocks. It looks like we're on Mars. Check this out. This is what we're driving through right now. Who put this here? Kyra, who put this here? Imagine your body just being dragged across this. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so bad. Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. Campers. God, I look like I just woke up because I did. I have absolutely no idea what time it is. I have no idea what time we fell asleep. I couldn't film anything last night because the second it got dark, we couldn't have any lights on because there were so many bugs. I live in Arizona where we don't really get bugs, even if you're outside at night, but oh my gosh, like this big crawling on us. And so we were trying to cook dinner. We made ramen. I couldn't even like check on the ramen with the flashlight without all these bugs coming out. I literally scarfed down some ramen and climbed inside and put up the bug nets. I went to sleep. I had all these ideas of like, I hung string lights and they're all pretty and I was gonna play card games or something. And then there was just no way that we were gonna sit in here with the light on. It's probably like freaking 6 a.m. maybe. But I will say it's pretty nice waking up to this view. I think we're gonna go for a little ocean swim and then go get some brekkie and then hit the road to Hana. It's like 8.15 in the morning and we are gonna leave our first campsite and start on the road to Hana. Overall, we slept pretty good in the camper for night one. It was surprisingly comfortable. The mattress in the back was pretty good. I'm excited to see what another day of the SU vacation brings. So we just stopped in the town of Hayaya. 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 And use the ATM because we heard that there's nowhere along the road to Hana that accepts cards and we didn't have any cash. So we pulled out some cash. This app we got that is a tour app that takes you through the road to Hana has exceeded my expectations. It tells you to pull over in the most random spot. We just pulled over and climbed through a little hole that turned into this giant lava pit that we never would have found or known about otherwise. We're almost to Hana, we're like 40 minutes away. But first we have the Black Sand Beach and then we're gonna get some lunch and then continue on SU vacation. I don't, I don't think you need to get any closer, Kyra. All right, come back, come back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We stopped and are camping now. It's the state park with the seven sacred pools. We've got ourselves a good little spot. I can see the ocean and I can hear the waves crashing. We're gonna set up camp here for the night. Got some brewskis. Yeah, we've got another day on the road tomorrow. It's our last night in the SUV and I'm a little sad. It's been really fun and it's been like way easier than I'd expected too. 
I'm glad we stopped to camp when we did because we keep hearing that the road after this is all dirt road and so it's a lot harder on cars. A lot of the rental cars, your insurance won't cover once you hit that dirt road. So I'm glad we're not driving on that at night and we stopped here and then we'll be doing all of that stretch in the morning um, in daytime. This is our home. Aloha. We're doing good. The road's not wide enough for two cars. There's bridges with no railings on them. I'm very glad that you're driving because I don't get stressed out. What's the worst that could possibly happen? We literally drive off a cliff into the ocean and die. Yeah. You gotta swim. We're on the Pilani Highway. If you do the road to Hana and you get to Hana, then most people turn around and drive back. Technically, you can drive all the way around, which is what we're doing now. It's dirt roads. It's dirt roads. It's way more treacherous than the actual Hana Highway. And a lot of rental cars, insurance agreements don't cover this part. So be sure to, if you are thinking about doing this, check out what your rental agreement is. But it's beautiful. This is probably the best scenery we've seen on the entire trip. He's not even looking at the road. He's just looking at the <laughs> I'm watching the ocean so that I don't hit it. Oh, good job. So we've literally had the best day just driving around. We finished the road to Hana, and then we got back, ate some poke bowls on the beach, and got an acai bowl, and swam in the waves a ton. And we have just a little bit longer. We have to return the car at sunset, and I'm so bummed. We're gonna go to Big Beach and swim in the waves, and just enjoy the freedom of having the the truck while we got it. 10 out of 10 recommend an SUV vacation.